I would say the hardest obstacle for me was the lang language barrier. So I'm originally from South Africa. Um, I moved here 16 years ago. For me, it was to find a place that believes in me, where I can start practicing English. And for me, that was the village school. And then suddenly I felt like I belonged. And then the next thing was church. Not that I would say I felt at home in church, because again it was very different from my tradition. Suddenly you have to read the Bible in a different language. It didn't give you all that comfort that, you know, the verses that you normally gave you comfort. Um, and then praying in the English. I would say my Afrikaans culture is still very strong in me. One thing, we still speak Afrikaans to our children, to each other every day. And that's the language we cry in, angry in. Um, so. But I also think that whole work ethic um, part of us um, growing up as a farmer's daughter you know that that was the thing you feel most proud about that you you never give up you persevere you work hard and and that is still very strong in me I really value those values even our children is in a different cu culture I try to embed it, them in, in in that as well Our food also connects us to South Africa. For example, we, uh, we still make biltong. So biltong is dried meat. So in South Africa, we would dry it outside. But over here, we've got a biltong box and we dry it inside the house. We still order burabors and pap, uh, made of maize meal. Because Christmas time in South Africa will be hot, so we, we will have a braai, which is a barbecue. And we still still do that Christmas time. We will make steak on the barbecue outside. And that's the kind of things that connects us. We also make biscuit and have it with our coffee. Um, and although our children didn't grow up in South Africa, they love boltong, they love biscuit, they love pub. Um, and that's just the traditions that we carry on. Mm -hmm.